Hello, this is Shankar in my series of what I have learned in astrology over the last 40 years, uh, seeing thousands of horoscopes, my experience, my reading of books, and it's a passion for me. I talk about moon and dragon head together briefly, certain very important aspects which I have noted, and moon and dragon tail in the various houses and certain aspects which I have seen. I am not going to the details of you know the traditional way of what happens in this house or what happens in that house but this is the two things which are very very important uh, I would talk about it moon and uh, moon and dragon head together in the first house makes a person irrespective of Rashi makes a person a very intelligent person a very cunning person a person which can who can think out of the box but it's not good for the mother it is not good for wealth in a way that it is good for wealth in the sense you can earn wealth but it will come to go you will come wealth will come but it will go that is what is going to happen and moon and rahu together in the first house do make people big businessmen and they could also make people who are big decoids so you know it depends upon how a moon is what is the position how strong or how weak the moon is and that would depend upon how the other planets the friends of moon that is jupiter and mars basically and sun jupiter mars and sun how they are placed in the horoscope because it is these friends which will help moon if they are placed well you would become a person who would think out of the box and do something which is way beyond and have a name for his, yourself but if the other three friends of moon are not well placed in your horoscope then it would you know vitiate the uh, impact of moon and make you a person as i told you um, a person who thinks out of the boss and he could be a big businessman he could be a big uh, writer he could be a big person in the social media he could be a big communicator but it could be positive or negative both the ways but certainly it would be out of the box. It is not a good combination for mother. The mother has to struggle. The mother will have uh, issues, uh, uh, issues with health, etc. Especially after the age of 48, 48 to 50. After that, she will have help. But a general life will be full of you know issues and struggles. So that is how you have to see uh, moon and dragon hand in the first house. In the second house, second house is the house of, is, it is the house which is like the temple of your house. It is the house which governs most of the important things like family, it governs wealth, it governs your uh, social status, it uh, governs your uh, raj, what you're going to get from the government. Second house is like also governs your divine grace. It is also the house of, you know, the, 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 some kind of uh, karmas which you have come with you know it's like a temple in the whole horoscope if the horoscope if you view the horoscope like a house then it is the temple where the temple as you place the temple in the house it is the uh, place of uh, temple and here you have to see how moon and rahu are placed together now whenever moon is ahead of rahu rahu cannot do any mischief mischievous planet Rahu is not a good planet for uh, for your life, things of life, like emotions, being good, being nice, being non-ruthless, being kind, not being a dece uh, not deceiving other people, being good in relationships. These things, you know, uh, uh, Rahu deals in most of the things. These kinds of non-life things which are there, this Rahu deals with. Rahu is not interested, and Rahu is not interested in like emotions but Rahu is interested in wealth Rahu is not interested in you know how you feel Rahu is interested how to manipulate you Rahu is interested in money but it is not interested in whether the money is made out of a person from deception or from doing something which is differently done you know and it could be for any field of life which could apply so that is how you have to see Rahu Rahu is always a planet which is an ambitious planet which could be a scientist, it could be it could be a, a nuclear physicist, he could be in, in second house of finance, he could be very good in financing money. But depending upon 
basically Rahu strength or Rahu the way Rahu will behave you have to see Saturn. So if Saturn is well placed and Rahu is in the second house, be very clear that the person would be a very good person in dealing with finance. He will think very differently how to stack money, how to put money, you know, how to have the money which is uh, which is ill-gotten money, how to be how it to be you know placed at different places, how to give money to the foreign countries, how to deal with money. It will be a very good planet to be placed with Rahu in the second house. If Saturn, Moon and Rahu together in the second house. And if Saturn is well placed, I have seen so many horoscopes where a person can uh, do anything. I mean, he, he can commit a crime, can commit, uh, you know, uh, by things by which he should be landing behind the bars, but they always get saved by some method or the other stroke of luck, by the imagination, by going to courts, they do not land behind the bars. So Rahu in the second house, having a good Saturn, always gives you a lot of protection in doing good things, in doing negative things and getting away with it. Repeat, doing negative things. Negative doesn't mean that you go and murder somebody negative. Here I mean negative things in terms of earning money, in terms of deceiving people, in terms of doing things beyond that. And even if you're caught, even if you get into problems, you get out of the problem. So this is what Rahu and Moon uh, do in the second house and uh, I have uh, seen it uh, time time and again uh, Rahu in the second house if negatively placed Rahu anywhere has got a life of 45 years Rahu will give this negative impact of uh, you know of uh, 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 both in life and non life things especially in life things will be you know not being emotional using the emotions of others to deceive people, um, uh, going after luxuries which are not so good, uh, let's say drugs, etc., etc. All those things, Rahu has a greater impact till the age of 45. And after the age of 45, you know, your mindset becomes such that it, you know, it resu it, the impact gets reduced. This I'm again talking about moon and, uh, and dragon head, which is in the uh, second house. Moon and, um, and dragon head together. Remember one thing, moon is a mother and Rahu is one planet which respects moon and which is my, uh, um, uh, which I've seen again and again. And that is why uh, the moon tricon sign of uh, Rahu is supposed to be, uh, is, is supposed to be cancer, Kark, where, uh, which is the house of moon. So Moon, Rahu always respects the Moon and you know, it has great regards for Moon. It always, uh, it, 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 it subdues itself when Moon is there. It reduces negativity when Moon is there. But there is a caveat there. The caveat is that Rahu should be, or Dragon Head should be behind Moon. When Dragon Head is behind Moon, that is Moon is ahead of Dragon Head, then it, when it, you know, it, it, moon is ahead of it. I mean, the good man is walking in front, is the leader. The man who is the bad is the follower. So the good man will not let the bad man do the wrong things. You know, let it let, understand, understand it that way. So whenever moon is ahead of Rahu in terms of degrees, it is better in, in that way. And it always gives you good results. And it will always reduce the negative impact of Rahu which is seen uh, with the uh, with respect to various other planets. And one planet which has always told you to see how Rahu will behave is to see the strength of Saturn. If Saturn is, I mean, you have to see the other planets, but Saturn is one planet which you should always see to see how Rahu is apart from various planets that is, you know, which is there. And here I'm only talking about the house. I'm not talking about the Rashi. So you always see how Saturn is placed in the horoscope to see Rahu and repeat it. Uh, uh, and that's why I always repeat this. Moon and uh, Rahu together will always spoil the Kartatva of the house where it is placed. That is very important. Wherever they are placed, they will spoil the indications of that particular house. Suppose Moon and Rahu 
are placed in the second house, they will create problems with respect to family. Mostly they will create problems with respect to the life things of life. Third house, they will create issues with sister. Fourth house, it is mother. Fifth house, children. So it, it, they will mostly create problems, more problems with the life things and non-life things, not so much a problem, but see how Rahu is and see how Moon is. And to evaluate Rahu and Moon, you have to evaluate the friends of Rahu. See Saturn for Rahu, how Saturn is placed. And for Moon, see um, your Sun, Jupiter and Mars. If Sun, Jupiter and Mars are well placed in a horoscope, then this combination of Moon and Rahu becomes very good for you to rise in life and to earn wealth in life to become a big man in life, to do something which is different in life, to do something, and with it, of course, in the domain of moon. Moon governs communication, moon governs water, moon governs, uh, you know, uh, liquid, uh, moon governs your uh, wealth, not, it, it governs uh, not the paper money, it governs your liquid wealth, liquidity which you can, you can have the money which you will have in your house, that is important. The liquidity which you have in hand, the money, the cash money which you will have, moon governs that. Moon also governs your general happiness. So these kinds of things you have to see if you have the moon, other planets, which are the friends of moon and Rahu, are placed well in the horoscope. So that is how you have to see moon and Rahu. Moon and Rahu and I call the moon and Rahu, I am more familiar to call it that way. but um, uh, moon and dragon head I mean Rahu is known as dragon head in the first six house one to six houses irrespective of Rashi is, uh, is not good for the mother mother will have problems in life that is uh, done and you can you, you can see it in most of the horoscopes while moon and Rahu from the seventh to twelfth house will not do any harm to the mother mother there will be not much of an issue but if there are problems, the problems will be together for the mother and the son. You know, the problems will come in a way that will impact both the mother and the uh, son. Ch Moon and Rahu in the seventh house is not good for it, it is it is not good for the mother, as I said. It is not good. It is good, not bad for the mother, but it is also not bad also for you know. Uh, issues like marriage. People say that, you know, Moon and Rahu together in the seventh house may have impact marriage, but it may not be. It, it is, I have seen, it is, it does not impact marriage too much. And it also does not um, uh, create any problems with the government. So it is, it, it is not a bad combination to have Moon and Dragon in the seventh house. People debunk it saying that it will create problems in married life but it's i say that it is not bad for the opposite sex your relationship with the opposite sex will be good uh, you will be able to relate to them and it is also not bad when you are dealing with the government so that is what rahu and uh, you know um, uh, moon do when it is in the seventh house this is an exception and this people generally feel that Rahu and Moon in in the seventh house creates problems with the opposite sex. I have seen uh, it, it as vice versa. Rahu and uh, Moon in the eleventh house. Uh, Rahu and Rahu is you know said to be very good in the eleventh house. But Rahu and Moon in the eleventh house. If it is there is a caveat, Jupiter should be there in the second and third house. If Jupiter is, uh, is there in the second and third house, it is actually good. And good in most of the aspects of life it makes a person uh, uh, gives you an above average uh, uh, life but if Jupiter is not there it will give you it will give you a it will give you a place uh, where your in-laws I mean both from the boys and the girl side will be bad uh, and if Jupiter is not there second and third house and Rahu and Dragon and Moon are in the 11th house, it will create problems with in-laws and it also will give you a situation where 
you may fall in love with a lady, with a woman, and you know you will be so crazy about the girl. Uh, you know, as I said, then divani ki, apki divani ki itni zada hogi that you may even you know uh, do things which are not to be done, and you know you spoil your life uh, with uh, respect to that. Uh, Rahu in the twelfth house uh, is. A place where it spoils uh, Rahu and Moon in the twelfth house uh, is not a good place to have. It spoils all the aspects of Moon which I have described, both life and non-life things. So money is not there, general happiness is not there, issues of mother is is there, and it also spoils of Venus. Whenever Rahu and Moon is are there in twelfth house, Moon and Rahu in the twelfth house. It also spoils Venus, and Venus is all about you know, opposite sex. It's also all about luxuries. It's also about medicines, your life, your partnership. It's also about money. I mean, we, uh, Venus is a very important planet. So if that gets spoiled, a lot of things in life is spoiled, and you are living. You know, it's it's a very 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 difficult and a below average life. So ra- Moon and uh, dragon head when they are in the twelfth house, they will create uh, problems. Moon and Rahu in the ninth house are, is also not good. Uh, it uh, will uh, keep on creating issues with respect to family, fortune, mother, happiness, all the things, most of the things which uh, Moon uh, signifies. Moon, moon is a moon is the most important planet in the horoscope. I mean, sun is the king, but moon is the planet which you know is the energy which flows out of the king. And Mars is the commander in chief of the executor of the king. The king by itself is cannot do anything. It has to have people. You know, you can you can be the you can be king of a place, but you can only become king when you have people around you. So the same thing is there. So whenever it is in the ninth house. It creates problems in your entire, you know, the way you live, your 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 whole uh, marriage, family, fortune due to them, issues with children, um, uh, your fortune will be staggered, issues with your uh, seniors. Which seniors here today, I call them gurus. I mean, your anybody who's your teacher, you will have problem with the teacher. You would not get respect from them. So Rahu and Moon from the ninth and the ninth house is also not a good place to have, and with uh, create issues in your domestic life, domestic peace, and happiness. So this is how you have to see uh, 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 Rahu and uh, Moon, Rahu and Moon together. Uh, if mm. I would say, I mean, no planet gives bad results uh, till eternity. There is a point when it becomes tapers down in its uh, negativities. And I would say Rahu and Moon to the extent that till the age of 34 it will give its negative impacts uh, to the maximum. And after the age of 34 it tapers down and the impact of the negative impacts of Rahu and Moon, uh, I mean, uh, becomes very less, or man, I mean, 10, 20 percent of what the sting is there till the age of 45. So this planet has its impact for till the age of 34, and then till the age of maximum till the age of 45. But you have to see how I have explained you how to see the planets together. I have also explained to you about the seventh house. That is what I have observed. I have also told you about the twelfth house, which is an important thing, Rahu. And I have also explained to you about the eleventh house, where if Jupiter is second in third house, what it can do. So you have to see it in that aspect. And you have to always see the life and the long life things. They always will impact the, the they will always impact the life things are life things because moon is all about the good things of life 
emotions, your mother, your uh, general peace, your happiness, your domestic peace, your money, etc. And if uh, Rahu and Moon together, they, you know, they become good, they will give you money, they will give you wealth, uh, they will give you, make you think out of the box, they may make you a big man, they may, may, may make, it makes you a good communicator, it makes you a good speaker, it makes you, it makes you a good person who can relate with uh, people, so on and so forth. But if negative, these things are done in a negative way, you can become a big deceiver, you can play with the feelings of others, uh, you have no respect for, you know, in terms of uh, your elders. Um, uh, you may not have liquid money. Money comes and money goes, or you may be in debts, like I have explained to you. In uh, in the case of uh, in the case of uh, Rahu and Moon, when uh, 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 they are in uh, various houses, uh, especially. Uh, especially when it is in the uh, when it is in the twelfth house, I mean Rahu and Moon, especially when it's twelfth house, when it is in the ninth house, and if it is not well placed, the friends of Rahu and Moon are not well placed. It it can spell uh, disaster. So this is all you have to seek. I, what my idea is to give you the pointers to explain you how to see. Nothing is bad, nothing is wrong. There's no combination which is totally positive, there's no combination which is totally negative. Yes, sometimes they're very positive for certain things, very negative for certain things. And that's how life is. And that is how you have to see this uh, combination. So with this, I end my video for uh, the conjunction of Rahu, that is dragon head, I repeat, and moon, that is Chandrava. So, Chandrabha and Rahu ke baare mein aapko bataya hai. In my next video, I will talk about uh, moon and dragon tail. What happens when moon and dragon tail are together? Till then, uh, thank you very much. Thanks for listening. If you have any queries, you can uh, uh, WhatsApp message to me at 9818733000. Only if there is something which you want to share, which you have experienced in terms of, you know, in astrology. If you have something very, very serious, very important to ask, this is a hobby for me, it's research for me, it's my, uh, it's my passion, uh, you can uh, go to askshankar.com and send your query. I have my site, shankarstudy.com. Uh, you can see that site. I have my book, uh, Zodiac Signs, uh, which I would, which is which will come out through Prabhat Publication. It's a very big publishing house in Darya Gaj. Uh, and it will be there on the Amazon also. So you can also buy my book for the Zodiac. Zodiac signs again. Uh, I mean, as an astrologer, I say that they cannot tell you anything very, 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 you know, you know, exactly what will happen. But they do give a trend, even if you are a beggar or you are a billionaire. They give you a trend of what is going to be good or what is going to be bad. The aspects which are going to be good, bad and average. And that is how I have done it uh, this time. So please, uh, I mean, if you have interest, please do pick it up uh, you know, from uh, from the online market or from Prabhat Publishers. So with this, I end my video. And uh, thanks for listening to me, if you listen to the end. Uh, Thank you very much. Namaskar.